most of the classic mistakes of meeting management that professionals and managers make have to do with a lack of planning or the ineffective planning of meetings. When you actually take time to plan and prepare for your meetings, you are most likely to get the most out of them. Now, good meeting planning requires you to begin with the end in mind and pay attention to a number of important things that I'll be sharing with you right away. The first is that you should plan the attendance. Ensure that you scope the attendees for the meeting and ensure that everyone who is attending the meeting or who you have invited to attend the meeting has a role to play and is aware of what that role is. You see, people get irritated when they are invited to a work meeting where they are not required and do not know what role they are actually playing in the meeting. In addition to planning the attendance of the meeting, it is also very, very important that you plan the agenda of the meeting. In planning the agenda of the meeting, you should ensure that you have an agenda that spells out the expected proceedings at the meeting with time allotted to each agenda item and the anchor for each item clearly stated. Now, if more than one person will be leading each item, it is important to also state it on the agenda. Also ensure that all the attendees get the agenda in a sufficient enough amount of time so that they can study it and prepare adequately for the meeting. So we've talked about planning attendance and planning the agenda. Thirdly, you've got to plan the proceedings. In doing this, you must ensure that you think ahead about any possibilities that will take place during the meeting. Plan for resources, for example, pens, paper, flip chart, markers, as well as your audiovisual equipment. Plan for these resources and where necessary, before the meeting starts, check that they work. In addition to planning your resources and your equipment, you should also plan the recording of the proceedings of the meeting. This requires you to ensure that the secretariat is well set up and have all the materials that they need to record the proceedings of the meeting properly. I strongly recommend the use of a meeting tracking sheet for the attendees also, so that individuals who are in the meeting can also track the proceedings of each meeting. This way I have found no one sleeps off during the meeting and everyone can be held accountable for the things that take place in the meeting. Very importantly also, plan the outcomes. Ensure that at the end of the meeting, there is a review and a summary of outcomes and accountabilities. And that this summary is communicated to all separately and project managed aside from the official minutes of the meeting. You will no doubt agree that better planned meetings like I have just described will certainly create higher meeting return on investments. So next time you are organizing a meeting, please pay attention to these five areas of effective meeting planning.